as you guys have seen, it's been a truly brilliant couple of days. Just had so much fun. It was so nice to finally meet uh, Misha and Ned and uh, get together. One of the things that Pi and I have quickly discovered over the year of vlogging is that uh, you get to meet some really, really nice people. Again, Misha and uh, Ned that came to see us, we just had a great time with them and uh, they get to see some things that they don't normally see. And again, Simon and Lauren, they turned up. Simon and Lauren have been here before and uh, yeah, it's a real pleasure to see them again. We're not with them today. Uh, Pi and I have got bits and pieces to do on the farm and unfortunately I'm feeling a bit under the weather again. Yeah, stomach problems. I actually hit the uh, doctors last night and unfortunately it's not just stomach problems. I've been wondering why I've been feeling so lethargic. Have you ever tried uh, going for a run when you don't run and you, you know at the end of it you're sort of gasping for breath and uh, your chest feels like it's going to explode? Well I've had this type of problem now even if I walk up the stairs. So I know something's wrong with uh, my lungs and my heart. So I went and had a chat with the doctor last night and uh, he strongly suggested I go to the main hospital and uh, let them put me on an EKG and find out what's going on. He said that your heart rate is very, very high and uh, your blood pressure is low. He said this was a clear indication that uh, you're probably heading for towards a heart attack if you're not careful. And I'm afraid to say, I know the cause of it, it's all those years of smoking. You know, probably thinking this is gonna turn into a lecture of, uh, you know, stop smoking. Um, it's not. You guys are not silly, you know the facts about uh, smoking and what sort of uh, problems it creates. And uh, I'm sort of a walking example of it right now. I have a heart problem and I have a lung problem. It will improve over time, but it's going to take a long time. I was going to head up to the hospital today in the town, but apparently there's no doctors there at the weekend, it's just nurses. So I'd have to go all the way to uh, Chiang Rai. So I'll wait until Monday and then go there and uh, see what they've got to say. I, like I said, well, I already know that uh, it's not good, but um, yeah, that'll be uh, 40 years of smoking, I'm afraid. I actually haven't had a cigarette now in uh, about three months, I think it is. The worst part of this, apart from feeling really sort of, you know, crappy, to be honest with you, is the fact that you feel lethargic. Um, I'm finding I don't have the energy and I'm finding I'm getting tired very, very quickly. Considering I'm one of these people that are out and about all the time and, you know, vlogging and uh, carrying the backpack and stuff, you know, I'm pretty active. So, you know, if it's affecting me this way, you know, I'd hate to think what it would affect somebody that doesn't really get an awful lot of exercise. It is um, a horrible feeling. Of course, the truth is that uh, like anybody else that smoked it, it was never going to happen to me. And uh, when it does, of course, um, you realise just how silly you are. But there you go. As human beings, we're fallible. We make mistakes and, uh, you know, hopefully I've uh, quit soon enough to be able to repair the damage I've done to myself. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Obviously, Pi is concerned. She, uh, she wants me to get better. But she's very, very happy that I did quit smoking. Again, just the smell alone is horrible. So, uh, yeah, it's better for her as well. Again, I wasn't one of these people that smoked in the house. I never did. I didn't want to sort of uh, subject either pie or fam or a family to it. So, um, yeah, I always used to smoke outside. But I can say this. These last couple of days have worn me out. I'm pretty exhausted. Pie's just over there. She's getting the uh, shrimp out of the little nets. Have you got many? A little bit. Okay. Sometime, eh? Okay. <laughs> Sometime and live shrimp. Yeah, it's a favourite. <laughs>
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, opening sequence with the bees. I promise you I'm planning on doing more with the bees. Uh, they should be harvesting the honey around sort of February, March time, so uh, I'll certainly do more then. Sorry about the video being a bit short today. I'm really, really tired. I just need to relax a little bit more. So uh, yeah, not an overly long one, I'm afraid. So, well, that's about all from Pinar today. Whatever you guys do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Don't forget, please subscribe, share and like. It does make a difference. And Pinar, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys. See you tomorrow.